was 82 degrees one day in Colorado, so we had to buy Jessica a whole summer wardrobe to enjoy the weather. The town my sister Tanya lives in with her family, Windsor, Colorado, got a new LDS church chapel. We got to attend and see the beautiful building. Although there was no landscaping, it was a lovely Colorado day, and I spent time walking around the grounds of the building. There's a beautiful lake, and it was a beautiful Sunday. One of the ladies at the church asked me if I was Tanya's mother. So I went to the car and took this picture. After a seven hour trip from Colorado, we arrived in Salt Lake City, Utah. We ran into Christina Arm. Almond, our aunt, and spent the afternoon there. The next day, we tour BYU with Brandy and Allison. We ran into Parker Collard. It was a beautiful day. The spring weather was gorgeous. Flowers were just beginning to blossom, and Carson and Jesse enjoyed seeing the Brigham Young University campus. Carson was especially yeah. excited and wanted to know more about the university, and how he might be able to fit in. Carson and I had an admissions appointment with one of the counselors, and he was excited to know that there was a place and there could be a place for him at the university. The art museum gallery was quite an experience for Carson and Jesse. They enjoyed climbing and exploring. We rode in a golf cart with eight other people and drove around the campus. This is a beautiful house that dignitaries stay at. This is one of my favorite buildings. And this building is our first home when Brad and I were married. We lived in the basement apartment. The Marriott Center was a delightful place to run and find joy yeah, like in the simple things. We really enjoyed our tour, and Brandon was a great guide, as well as the golf cart guide. We really enjoyed looking at the Marriott Center changes. <laughs> then we met the blacks. At 10 a.m. on a Friday morning, we hiked the Y. It was a beautiful day, a little chilly, but we kept warm with yeah, the adrenaline. Yeah, it was a very good household. None of this is in the actual book, though. So in the book, it just any, seems like, like he was a jerk. But uh, his sister, Green, who he was very close to, which he couldn't communicate with her for these two years, because otherwise his parents would find out where he was. Uh, so this famous LDS couple lives close to Y Mountain, and we ran into them. They were doing a service project. We had a great time talking and laughing on the way up and the way down. Which is 
something he never would have done unless he was seriously injured and needed help because he was... How did he get injured? One of my favorite experiences was attending this food truck roundup where 20 different food trucks offered a variety of delicacies. We enjoyed pizza and burritos and Carson had the best grilled cheese sandwich ever. And... He ran into this famous YouTube celebrity who happens to be LDS. Carson was so excited to meet this young man. And that's our trip. I posted Salt Lake City pictures and Studio C and BYU radio pictures on my blog. These are some beautiful pictures and I wanted to take them with my good camera and post them large size. Enjoy!